let's talk, uh, you know, we've inflation. We're speaking uh, the day after numbers, you know, show that they're cooling. Um, you know, a lot of experts I, I speak to, you know, not, not buying the narrative. Um, I, I have an idea what you're going to say, but what's your take on inflation? It's not going to stop. It's designed. In, inflation is going to continue to rise as central banks fulfill their end game. The central banks have an end game, and that is to continue to inflate, period. A central bank's power resides in one thing its ability to inflate, and they're buying it all right now. Central banks have one product. Their product is debt. The more debt they issue to the world, the stronger they become. Henceforth, why you got stopgap measures here in the United States to fund the government. Henceforth, why you have a $1.7 trillion spending package with all kinds of pork in it, including funding a war and whatever else they got to do here. Uh, the whole nonsensical... I'm going to say dog shit narrative how central banks really want to combat inflation and they're doing so by raising rates. It's just, it's a farce, okay? Raising rates is meant to kill demand and so and henceforth crush the consumer. It's not meant to curtail inflation. How do you control inflation actually? You contract the money supply, but we don't hear a word about that. You, the, the central banks have the financial institutions raise their capital reserves. That's how you can track the money supply. We could stop inflation in its tracks, but they have no interest in doing this. If, if we literally could stop inflation, that's what they would do. But you see, it's a big secret that no one's allowed to know. Contract the money supply. What are they doing? They're inflating the money supply. Uh, you got Fed presidents like Bullard telling people, oh, look, the money supply is contracting. You can see that because... People are pulling cash out of their bank accounts. People are pulling cash out of their money market, market accounts. Two metrics that are utilized to measure the global money supply. But the fact of the matter is people are pulling their cash out of these accounts because they're trying to make ends meet. At the same time, what are they doing? They're borrowing beyond their eyeballs here uh, with regard to their debt burdens, household debt, consumer debt. All the stuff we talked about in the past is coming to light. It's, and everything that I'm talking about here is also going to come to light at one point, but it's too late. People are not waking up fast enough, unfortunately. The people that follow our work, they get it. They get it. But most people walk through time and space. They don't know who they are. They don't know what they're doing. They, they just... They just exist like, uh, like zombies living in the now, not thinking about the future. It's a terrible thing. The population of the world, especially here in the United States, and I talk to everybody from all over, is the most dumbed down uh, on the history of the planet. And, and they're becoming dependent on the system more so. And this mechanism is going to progress much further moving forward. And I want to talk to you because, I, like I say in all my interviews, I want to give people tools of how to not be dependent on the system, how to just depend on yourself, because at the end of the day, that's the only person that you, you can count on. Um, but let, let's talk, I want to understand a little bit more about the inflation story. So if the numbers are, if you don't believe the numbers, right, let's, let's say, um, what's, why wouldn't they show us the real numbers? Well, because you know, none, none of that, I don't trust any of the data at all. First of all, there's no actual verifying agency. It's like, okay, everyone, here's the data. And they tell us what it is. You know, look, they're not, they're, they're telling us that inflation is, we, how many times have we heard peaking, the word peaking, inflation's peaking, it's peaking, I don't know, it must be 10 times over the last year or so. And every time they tell us it's, it's peaking, it continues to rise. Is it, is the pace slowing? Maybe, but it continues to rise nonetheless here. Uh, and they want us to believe right. that by some miracle at one point, this eventual raising of rates is going to crush demand so hard that it does bring down inflation here. Look, what did we hear right out of the mouth of the Federal Reserve? They need to kill jobs. They said this. One of these Fed president freaks came out. I can't remember the name. But I think it was Fed President Daly explained that in order for people uh, in order for inflation to drop, people need to lose their jobs. How about we start off with these these things over there? We don't need these organizations. Imagine a system, seriously, that that is governed and controlled by private institutions that have their own interest in mind here. And people are, why are we seeing things like consumer credit balloon, the global uh, debt bubble hyper balloon? Because that's the nature of the beast. It's a debt-based system. And that's how it functions. It can't function any other way. And that's a big secret too. You don't learn this stuff in school that we have this. I mean, I bet you if they put me before an economics class and I asked people, for example, okay, what drives the world economy? 
that most people are going to say it's supply and demand. No, it's not at all. It's fear and greed. Fear is stronger. Um, and that's where you see all these fluctuations here in the market, especially the debt market lately, which has given us warning sign after warning sign of how illiquid it actually is. Uh, and and, and what, what are we seeing here? This phenomenon lately, global bond yields were rising. Now they're dropping. Now they're stabilizing. Who's doing that? Who's doing that? This is, again, central banks playing their game. And it's not going to stop. All the You have to understand something else. Okay, you got the Federal Reserve's public balance sheet. Yeah, sure, you can see it. But they're not telling anyone what's off balance sheet. Where does all this cash come from to fund wars, to to warp speed vaccines, whatever it might Where does it come from? We don't have it. We're broke, okay? Uh, tax revenue doesn't even come close to funding the, the current deficits that we hold here in the United States. All that extra cash comes from one place, and that's the central banks, and all that's the Federal Reserve in this case, and it's all off balance sheet. It's stuff that we're not allowed to see. No one's allowed to see. But that's that's the truth here. Central banks working in concert to uh, issue more of their product to continue to inflate because that's where their strength resides. That also means it's their Achilles heel. If we had enough people to understand the system, if we could prevent, and I've said this for, for a decade, central banks, any one of them, from issuing one single dollar of more debt, just one, the entire system implodes. It has to be relentlessly fueled by adding more debt by any mechanism possible. That's how it works. It's debt-based. Um, if we could take down one central bank, they'd all tumble because we're all doing the same thing. But they have people roped into to, uh, believing that there's no other way, there's no way out of it. Uh, no way to sidestep the system. And a, a way would have been and may still be, I don't know, is a, a non-central bank issued uh, mode of, of transaction. Uh, and uh, if we ever can come up with a viable one that isn't being attacked by, by central banks, by, by Wall Street, well, then maybe we could do that. But I doubt it. It's never going to happen. It's a nice little pipe dream. But... They got a stranglehold on everyone. So if, if they are orchestrating, if all those central banks are, you know, are in, in concert with this and orchestrating this, this grand plan, Gregory, uh, what's their, you know, getting back to your point about their end game, how do they win in this? Well, how? Well, who wins? Because, is the better again, question. by owning it all. What do central banks do? What, what has been the goal of central banks since their inception? Okay, put, most people have no idea. Why were central banks even created? Because they want to create a better world? They want to make a prosperous world for everyone? Why is the entire world and every single developed nation around the world, including its citizenry, burdened beyond absolute belief in, in debt? Because that's the system. Once the central banks were able to grab control of this, the financial system, going from a wealth-based system, being backed by a hard asset, let's say gold, to a fiat, so so let it be, so it, it is, a uh, monetary system, they won. Okay, once we allow that to happen here, and now central banks are, are using their product to own the world, every single government today, the real government of the world is central banks. They control the financial system. They control the economy, which means they control the world. Everything else is nothing but a distraction, some kind of side act freak show. So central banks, their goal since their inception was to one day own and control the world. Today, I think I don't think there's a person alive who has even the slightest clue as to how central bank, how they work could deny the fact that these these institutions are in full control of the world and everything else like I said it's it's a puppet show it's um you know and we the people we lose <laughs>